Last week on the channel, we covered the possibilities of a seven-star Mewtwo Terror event coming to Scarlet and Violet. Well, we've had more information drop today, which backs this up, and we're going to cover everything in today's video. So this all started with the 1.3.2 update that we got for Scarlet and Violet last week. And when Matt Yukana, one of the data miners, delved deeper into the code, he found a line of battle text referring to Mew, which stated Mew is going all out against a formidable opponent now there's been a lot of theories around what this bit of battle text refers to but we can really pinpoint what that refers to in today's video courtesy of anubis now for those of you who don't know anubis is one of the most well-known data miners for pokemon in the pokemon community and provides a lot of valuable information about a variety of different things that go on in the game They've come out with a post on Twitter today just delving a little bit deeper with their findings on this line of battle text referring to Mewtwo and a 7 star terror raid event. As you can see, the SV version 1.3.2 added a new interesting message, Mew is going all out against a formidable opponent. This is used when Mew enters a 7 star Mewtwo terror raid. Mew gets a 50% HP boost and a 20% stat boost to all of its five stats. So that line of battle text is directly connected like it was theorized to a seven star Mewtwo terror raid event. Now you've got to remember that the 18th of July coming up is the 25th anniversary of that Mewtwo and Mew first Pokemon movie. So that is a big date and we've already seen confirmation of Mew coming to Pokemon Unite and other things going on in the Pokemon community with Mewtwo so it makes sense that a Mewtwo terror raid event is coming in July whether that happens or not this indicates that this is all set up for that event but when it does drop who knows but it would make sense around that date of course and we have covered a video all about the reasons why it should fall within that week around the 17th to the 25th to kind of correlate with that 25th anniversary and you can see the video here courtesy of Anubis going into this terror raid battle here that shows the Mew when it enters the battle getting that 50% HP boost and the 20% boost to its stats. It doesn't actually show on the stat screen, so it is a boost that is gonna remain for the entirety of the battle. It is not gonna get removed by the raid boss. And don't get confused by the moves that Mewtwo is using here or the terror typing. Uh, Anubis does state that he did use a Chestnut seven star terror raid event to manipulate the, the raid into Mewtwo. So it is that Chestnut uh, in its base form really just Mewtwo kind of whack over the top of it so the Mewtwo when we do get it will have a different terror type and it will have different moves of course you can see it is using the iron defense like that chestnut used in those terror raid events but you can see the line of text here the Mew stats aren't showing any boosts at all but when we go here to the beginning of the battle we do see that line of text here when the Mew comes in first shiny sprite activates and then Mew is going all out against a formidable opponent and gets stat boosts there. And that is the 50% HP boost, which is a massive HP boost. And then 20% boost to all of its other five stats, which is crazy, making Mew extremely strong. Now, Anubis goes on to say uh, these were the original stats of the Mew when he went into the raid and then in the battle. Uh, the stats grew to these numbers, which was crazy, which kind of equates to the 50% HP, 20% for all of the other stats, meaning that it's getting a massive buff. Uh, the stat boost is not cleared by the boss's ability or stat resets either. So that will stay, that's been confirmed. That boost will stay for the entirety of the battle and it doesn't appear to show on the battle screen. So when you go into the stat screen, it doesn't show as boosts or anything like that. So they can't be wiped as you go forward. Uh, Anubis also goes on. I also tried modding a wild Mewtwo into lower terror raids. Uh, so five and six star terror raids, but the effect did not occur with the Mew. So that didn't implement uh, in a five or a six star terror raid. It only specifically occurred in a seven star Mewtwo terror raid. So I believe it's specific to seven star Mewtwo raids, which indicates even further that we are gonna be getting this seven star terror raid event 
specifically otherwise why would they put that line of text in there um for the mew uh with me two events coming up for pokemon unite and mew in pokemon go because mew has got a shiny chance in pokemon uh, go that is part of the pokemon go seventh anniversary i wonder when we're going to get the mighty mew two raids in scarlet and violet and we've got pokemon trainer abel here with a, a good point kind of backing up what we've been saying here on the channel they could announce the mew two raids on the 16th of july and and that is correlating with the Delphox raids that have just been announced, which have their second cycle, which ends on the 16th of July, which actually kind of falls pretty nicely to go into that week between the 17th and the 25th that has that 25th anniversary in it and then could house a Mewtwo seven star terror raid event then. And they could also do, I think they're gonna do a mystery gift for Mew as well. So, you know, every player doesn't have access to Mew from previous games everyone that has scarlet and violet needs to have access to mew to go into this terror event to kind of benefit from the effects of it and mew and mewtwo are the big characters in the movie so it would make sense to give a mystery gift for mew like we kind of initially theorized and then you can take it into the Mewtwo seven star terror raid event. Uh, interestingly as well, Mike Yukana has chipped in with these two cents on this uh, topic as well. Of course, another really well-renowned data miner providing most of our updates here on the channel for uh, any of the, the patch updates that we have. All Mew that participate are eligible for the stat bonuses. So if they don't implement a cap on how many Mew can enter the raid, it will be a solid choice against Mewtwo. And he's got a, a bit of footage here of him going into a terror raid against the Mewtwo, seven star terror raid against Mewtwo, and then four Mews coming into this raid battle. And each and every Mew has got the stat boost, uh, the benefit of that bonus when they go into the raid. That is a huge bonus as well. It's not just tied to one Mew, it is every single Mew. So if these are online raids as well, which you can imagine once the Seven Star Terror raid goes live, then you can imagine everyone bringing Mew to this, especially if it is a mystery gift and it's going to be a pretty easy raid from then on with those stat boosts on top with the Mew. And Mew gets some access to some nice options as well to kind of take down this Mew too. Obviously having the same typing means that you're going to be able to take those psychic type attacks a little bit better, but you've got to watch out for the coverage. But that's all stuff we can get into when the event gets officially announced and uh, we can do some best builds and stuff here on the channel, which I'm kind of looking forward to. So um, that is everything that we wanted to cover today. It does look from the information that we've had from Anubis and Matt Yukana as well that this seven star terror raid event is going to be happening in Scarlet and Violet. It's just a case of not if, it's a case of when. So I would hedge my bets on the 18th or that week of the 17th to the 21st of July. The 18th would be perfect because it is the 25th anniversary and they could do like we've already mentioned on the channel Pokemon Presents as well where they showcase some sort of interaction with the DLCs, the Mightiest Marks, things like that. Pokemon Sleep could get talked about in TCG products as well. So there's a lot to talk about in that Presents which could kind of back it up but at the base of it if we get nothing else then a seven star terror raid event to celebrate the 25th anniversary would be quite fitting for that week but we'll wait and see uh, what happens after that Delphox second phase ends because I think that's going to be the big tell on the 16th that evening if we do get the Mewtwo that week or not or they might just save it for an announcement through the week but let me know what you think of all the information that's been provided by these brilliant data miners and I will look forward to reading through them and if there's any further updates on this potential terror raid event that looks like it's coming to Skull and Violet we'll drop it here on the channel as soon as it does come out thank you so much for tuning in if you've enjoyed today's video please drop a like on it do subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Skull and Violet content and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.